Um, I guess I grew up kind of feeling um, very unheard. I was diagnosed when I was 10, but I was first um, excluded from, well, off-road. I'd say it's a very old um, tragedy because, yeah, I was um, off-road when I was six by a teacher that ended up being removed from my position. And obviously the labels followed me to my next school where I was one of two um, black boys in the class for probably about a week and then we were split apart and I was just getting excluded from that school so I did one day exclusions just not really spending a lot of time in class basically I'd spend a lot of time on um, playing chess in like our class so that developed a liking for chess and I kind of got adverse to punishments and I kind of thought okay I'm gonna go play chess seven years but that's how long I was in alternative provision, literally from yeah nine, being in a child secure unit for a few months where I was diagnosed and sectioned as a young person and then spent them five years in um, Pru, which was sold as a school. I was very focused in that environment, but focused because the incentive was me being taken out of there and put back into mainstream school, basically. But obviously that never materialized. I wasn't allowed in my borough because I was such a tyrant, apparently, for my behaviours at six, between six and nine. So I wasn't allowed in the borough. I did not receive any other assessment after receiving my first assessment of ODD. Um, the yearly assessments weren't in place. I've been very, like, separated from my peers, my community as well. I wasn't reinstated. I'd say there wasn't any barriers in entering the criminal justice system, basically. Well, I got I got eight GCSEs out of people referral unit, even though I could only do foundation papers. I'm trying to study criminology as well now, um, with what I've learned. I just wanted to um, share quickly a photo of me in nursery. I was already on the SEM register. So as nice and as innocent as I look, obviously I was being set up for failure being given appropriate labels to facilitate, I guess, what the system wants to reproduce, which is poor outcomes for um, black students. As a six-year-old, I'm noticing that things are being mentioned about my dad and single mothers and all, like, grown up with these negative perceptions firmly in my mind. It's a big issue and it, and it starts a lot earlier than a lot of people um, expect. I know there's a lot of exclusions in year nine, but there's a breadth of exclusions that are probably undiscovered in primary school as well.